Okay, we are back with another glutathione video. Um, I'm on one month of consistently taking my glutathione and um, everything's going great. I've seen a noticeable change throughout my entire body. Um, I started off with a suntan. I showed you guys these pictures um, from just March and um, one of them is from April and uh yeah i was i went to this music festival it's music festival season and you guys really even if it is at the beach like mine was like you really need to do cover up or do something like i was in an area where even though there are thousands of bodies around me while we're watching these you know these performers and we're standing there by the stage like it was able to shade me from you know the harsh sun but certain areas of my body were still exposed to the sun so i have certain areas that got darker while others you know remained shaded by everyone that was around me so if you're gonna be going to any concerts any music festivals anything any events that are outdoors <sighs> try to see if you can bring some long sleeves or some pants even if it is at the beach you know run around in your bikini for as long as you can and then um you know shade yourself bring an umbrella i mean you can't bring an umbrella to a concert or something but anyways try to do what you can um, so anyways, one of the parts of my body that got darker than the rest of my body for the first time, I've never had this happen, but my stomach, somehow my stomach, so my face was shaded, my arms were down here, so my arms didn't get as much, but my stomach, for some reason, I had a beam of just sunlight that consistently was on my stomach and when you're standing there waiting for the next performer to go on you're not moving so wherever the sun is like it's not like you can go seek shade you're there for a few hours and then once the performer starts performing like yeah anyways uh, so anyways finally everything is finally starting to get that suntan off and I'm going down to the skin tone that I normally have but something's different. I don't know, my skin doesn't normally look like this. So yes, my skin has been this shade before if I'm staying out of the sun and it takes months to achieve that, but it's never been so glowy. So that's a big difference. So, and I think that helps you because like this is a slow process. You're not gonna get overnight results. You're not gonna go down to skin shades by consistently, by consistently using glutathione even over the course of a month it takes about three months to see the most drastic of changes. So, yep, I'm a bit of the way there. No, oh, a third, a third of the way there. And um, I mean, I'm excited. And um, this new glow definitely is something that will hold me over and I'm definitely a lot lighter than I was to start out with. Um, I'm taking 6,000 milligrams of the capsules a day. So I take 2,000 in the morning, 2,000 in the afternoon, 2,000 at night. I'm doing the anal syringe. I do anal syringes because it goes to my bloodstream. Um, I'm also taking Glutavit C IV Power Powder. I take a tablespoon of this. One tablespoon of this has 85,000 milligrams of glutathione. It also has niacin and uh, milic acid and uh, what else milk thistle other acids in it too so it's not just one thing it's a it's a blend um so I, you just take that once a day some people just take this and they don't take any capsules because it has you know eight thousand milligrams like that's that's a lot of glutathione but i take this in addition to the capsules that i'm taking but i just started this literally three four days ago so i don't have any results from this yet so stay tuned for that update um, and then I take a thousand milligrams of vitamin C with each glutathione um, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call that <laughs> each glutathione session that I have during the day so you need a lot of vitamin C to go with a lot of glutathione that's just how it seems to be working so yeah like I said so far I'm happy with my results so I'm not gonna be taking anything away if anything i'm adding new steps and it's um helping this journey another new step that i um, added on was a vagina and groin like a nether region lightning cream this is glutathione you cannot use regular whitening creams just stop using whitening creams altogether um look at the ingredients if it has any type of steroid in it um really the only thing safe to take while you're taking glutathione orally or anally or 
through IV. The only thing safe to put on your skin as far as lightening creams would be something with glutathione in it or kojic acid. Don't mess yourself up. So many people have set themselves back by using their same whitening creams that had all of these other steroids and all these other ingredients that do not mesh with the glutathione and it makes them darker than they started. It gives their skin discoloration. That's scary. That is scary to have patches on your skin darker than the rest of your body just because of something so silly as using a cream that just it doesn't react well with glutathione um so don't do it don't do it just don't do it you can take vitamin c creams vitamin c serums that's okay that's not gonna hurt anything it's not gonna make you look darker but um you've been warned and there's other people who will warn you too so this isn't something new um let me go get the little cream so you can see how big it is this is the little tub i took off the thing because it said <laughs> vaginal cream <laughs> uh yeah that, that was too much for me but anyways here's a little tin um it's actually smells really good i got this from gluta's best as well it was 40 dollars some of these other glutathione glutathione is kind of expensive to come by and that's just because glutathione itself is expensive so how much it takes to make a cream or stuff like this like it's gonna set you back a little bit whether you want to make it on your own or buy it from someone who makes their own this actually has licorice root in it as well and some other natural ingredients that will help lighten skin yes it does work i had no idea what to expect i've never i haven't even seen any other reviews of this so that's why we're making it it's by glute is best it's on the website um it works so i've been putting it on my nipples and i've been putting it on my vagina area the groin area so in between my thighs and um even on and well around the penis <laughs> around the butthole and they have lightened up they have lightened up i didn't even know that i had hyperpigmentation in or on certain areas of my vagina i didn't even know this now you're not putting it inside the vagina, okay? It's not going on your like labia minora or anything like that. It's going on the outside of your vagina, okay? The part of your vagina that you have to shave, that's where this can go, okay? Good rule of thumb. If you can shave it, it can go there. You can shave around your butthole, it can go there. <laughs> some people have some hairy buttholes, but yeah. So anywhere you would shave, you can put this and um yeah it does work um i looked at some old pictures some old sexy time pictures i had taken and um i had some darkness compared to now it's lightened up significantly i've only been using this going on a week and a half two weeks now so yeah your girl's happy um i didn't know i had so much just hyperpigmentation on my vagina especially by where the labia is um I mean the actual labia you can't do anything about that so don't be don't try it i mean i wouldn't i don't recommend it but i had some darkness there i had some darkness in the groin area and i had a dark ring around my bum hole most people do that's why people go and get their bum hole bleached and things like that um i don't think it's safe to use regular bleaches that people use for their bum hole i would only use something with glutathione in it because you know you you just know it's gonna turn out darker so yeah excitement now when it comes to my nipples so my nipples weren't necessarily dark brown or chocolate to begin with um you know how your nipples change colors depending on how hot or how cold you are some people say if you're turned on or not but i just notice that when i'm cold they're one color when i'm room temperature or hot they're lighter so when i'm hot or at room temperature or something like that um they look like a peach color like a but a flesh toned peach so not really pinkish peach just like a brownish peach a light brownish peach and then if i get cold or anything um they get much darker and um it looks more like a very dark purple so from flesh toned or you know like a light brown 
peach to dark purple. Um, now when um, I'm room temperature or hot, but it's a peach and pink now instead of being peach and light brown or light tan, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know, it's different. Cause I can't say that it blends in with my skin. Um, and then when I'm cold, now it's a dark pink when I'm cold. So I would say light, barely light purple, dark pink. Um, I would like to see it be like a light pink. I think that would be really pretty, um, but I'm not complaining. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Like I said, this is the results within almost two weeks of using it consistently. Um, I will say, I mean, I feel like this will last me hopefully two more weeks. So hopefully I'll get three weeks out of it. Um, I would say put it on once a day, though I will say that I've been putting it on more than just once a day, especially after I saw like I was getting results. I was very excited about it and so I would just reapply. So I think this is best to put on at night. Make sure that you rub it in well so it doesn't just come off, but at night you're not going to the bathroom a million times so you're not wiping it away. Also you're not sweating as you know when you're running errands and things like that. We tend to sweat our perfume and our lotions off so yeah. I've also noticed that it does not bleach my clothes, so thank God for that, because I've got some on my clothes before. Um, I had like a Kanye moment. <laughs> she just bleached her asshole. Anyways, what else? Um, so yeah, put it on at night just so you're not gonna be wiping it away. Um, for nipples, you can put it on any time of day. I don't really think it matters. Like I said, you're, you're rubbing in the cream, so it's absorbed into the skin, um, but since this is such a small tin and it was $40, um, you know, once a day probably would be smart. You're still going to get results, so it doesn't matter. Um, on top of that, I still exfoliate my nipples. I still exfoliate my groin area. I have one of those mittens, those hand mitts, and it, um, it's an exfoliation mitt. Uh, it's supposed to have charcoal in it or whatever. Uh, it's like a gray and black one. Um, who knows how much that does? I don't know. I just got it for like $2 at Target or something. You could find some probably at Walmart, but I use that with my Kojic soap. So the Kojic soap could also be helping with this. I would definitely say still moist, um, not moisturize, but exfoliate to help get off the dead skin and let the new skin come on. Um, I've also been putting it on my lips. I have noticed that my lips have lightened, but my lips don't really have a pink undertone because naturally my lips were never really all that pink. They were I mean, you see the color they are. This is, I don't have anything on them right now. Um, they were darker than this, for sure. They are definitely darker than this, for sure. So just know, you can put this on your lips too, um, but don't think you're gonna get like these bright, light pink lips or anything like that, um, or like make it look like you have like a cherry chapstick on, cause like it won't do that unless I, this is just my ideas. I'm hypothesizing that I think if you already have pink spots on your lips. Some people have like brown around here and then like pink in the middle. If you have something like that, then I think it can lighten it up to where all of your lip looks like that. But for me, I didn't have a lot of pink on my lips to begin with. So they're just a light color, I guess. Um, that's how I feel like what's probably gonna happen with my nipples because my nipples don't, uh, they don't have like a lot of pink undertones. Like, like I said, I started out with a peachy, so it has some pink in it but it's mostly peach, which if you've ever blended peaches together, you know it goes in to make the color peach. So it's more peach, and then it took away the brown. So I think if anything, if over the next month, if they continue to lighten up, um, I might just end up with nipples that look like my skin tone. So as my skin starts to lighten, I think they will continue to light, not only from me taking the glutathione and having it in my blood system, but also from me putting on this cream. And um, have you guys, I don't know if you've ever seen someone with flesh colored nipples, but it they literally blend in with the rest of their skin. Like you can tell they have a nipple because the texture is different, of course. Um, and they have everything that you have but it's um it's not chocolate it's not brown it's not peach it's not pink it's um it's like a flesh colored so i think that might be where it goes i'm just saying unless you have like a lot of pink in your nipple to begin with i don't think it's gonna make it even more pink just out of nowhere you can't just go from brown to pink 
<laughs> if that were the case, then when people take glutathione, and you've seen a lot of before and afters already, if you've found my channel, then you're looking for before and afters, then you'll see people don't go from black to brown to pink to yellow. They go from black to brown to a yellow and to a high yellow, and then some people are legit white, which I don't. I shouldn't be judging, but I don't think it looks that great. Um, I like to have, I think a little bit of color, a little bit of yellow is nice, but anyways, we all have our own preference. So yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna say about that. Um, she also has a glutathione body cream. That's lightning that you can, it's much bigger than this, I'm assuming. Well, it looks like it in the pictures. Her, none of her stuff that's listed has any ounces or any measurements of like how much is in it for the creams. For her pills, yeah, you know exactly how many pills are in there, how many milligrams they are, but not for this stuff. So I don't know. It just looks like the tub is bigger since it's for your whole body. And she said it's safe to put everywhere. So, um, yeah, but that's $99. I don't think I want to spend $100 for a lotion. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's in my budget. I'm gonna make a video about how much money you need to start your glutathione journey because you do kind of need a starter pack of everything to get this going. I think because I'm using so many different things at once, I think that's why I'm having such speedy results. So anyways, stay tuned.